Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. We are playing on the Westbridge Hills map from the Titanium DLC. And we got all our canola planted, and it is starting to come up. Not quite ready to be harvested yet, a little bit more, but... Yeah, we got uh, three fields of it. Um, 16, 15, and... 11. Oh, 11 is ready to be harvested. Okay. Must have just changed, because when I log in the game, it wasn't, so... Okay. And we've got our new case tractor. A Magnum 340. Dual wheels, of course. And I think we're going to do some work on sheep this episode. So for that, first off, we need to mow some grass. And we better head back down to the farm so we can pick up uh, our wagon for picking up the grass. I guess we'll use this tractor. A little bit overkill, but, you know, brand new tractor. We gotta use this thing, of course, so. Yeah, maybe we won't use this tractor. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. Forgot about that. That's one issue with these, uh, case tractors. They're a little bit limited on what they can pull. Because they do not have that second type of hitch. I have no idea what that kind of hitch is. I've never seen that before. Must be something weird you guys have out in Europe. Oh, come on, honey. Won't even hook up to this one? Sheesh. Let's see what we can hook up to, then. Because so far, not much. I might not be able to get the hitch on that one. Okay, we can hook up to them wagons at least. That's sort of good. Uh, we can pull our forward disc, obviously. We've got a three point. Um, yeah, what else do we have that we can hook up to? That's a good question. We'll, uh, I guess we'll just park this in the shed here for now. Won't be using that one. Go back to our international. And this time I got it right. It is an international, not a farm all. Look very similar though. International farm malls are both red. Both got white on them. Okay. I guess what we can do is probably get somebody going on the canola. We can do that and then we can put our case tractor to work with a canola. Let's go grab our combine. And fire this bad boy up. Yeah, I figure with the uh, sheep, we shouldn't have too much of an investment. Um, we obviously already got a mower, a, gra a, pick, a grass picker upper device thingy, a jiggy. That uh, class con quantum, uh, quantum wagon over there. And then we got a couple tractors that have front end attachments on them for you know, buckets and such, so we'll just have to buy a pair of forks for one of them. 
think I'll probably use the smaller Ursus. Probably buy a pair of forks for that. And we'll hire him. And then we'll need to get some type of wagon or trailer or something to put the wool pallets on. guy might be in the way there. I kind of want to put my horse... Well, guess we can go around him, maybe? Yeah. Let's see if we can push him out of the way or something. I'm not sure what that hitch... Uh, what's up with the hitch on that one? It seems like that hitch should attach to... Uh, down here, but guess not. Like I said, I'm not sure what's up with the kind of weird hitches um, in this game. Really, the only kind of hitch I'm familiar with is actually the one that's right down here. And obviously, you know, of course, you got your three point and that stuff, but uh, as far as actual hitch hitches go, I've never seen any of the other kind of hitches. Um, actually, you know what? I think we want to come from the other way. These guys might be in the way there. We'll probably, yeah, I think I'll have to move them. No, maybe not. Nope. Okay, I yeah, know we should be good. And we'll set up our course. Uh, nothing loaded, so start course recording. This should be a nice short course. So if we come up through there, go back around here. Ourselves back up with a start there. Stop. Uh, this is field 11, so let's make sure we save it. Load field 11. Okay, should be good to go. No combine in reach. That's weird. Oh, okay. Possibly the combine was off the field or wasn't asking for him. Uh, one more thing we want to check here. Ah, uh, Pathfinder. I want to turn that off to make sure he will unload the combine without having to wait until he's absolutely full if he's on the wrong side. Field speed, turn speed, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh. 50%, yeah, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, I've, I'm seeing one kind of problem with this load status. I think it's, I keep calling it an inspector, I believe it's a load status. More vehicles I get here, it's keeps listing them. Some of them, you know, it's like, hey, really, I don't need to see them. You know, obviously, I'd like to see my combines, but I really don't care about my uh, class quantum wagon, uh, my front end loaders, uh, my other blizzard, it's all blizzard, my uh, front end loader. Definitely don't care about my force grip. That could definitely stay off there. 79 flat top. Oh, okay, that's a wagon. Yeah, I really don't care to see that either. But. The inspector mod itself really isn't much different. It kind of lists a lot of that stuff too, so really no advantage of inspector versus the load status. 
just be nice if they'd take off some of that stuff that doesn't need to be on there. Not sure if they could do that or not, but... Yeah, like I said, I really don't care to see this on there. I mean, it's okay if it's just a little short list, but as this list gets longer here, and it's starting to get pretty long... I guess I can do this. Hit the right one there. Alt A, and that should hide that. these fields here, uh, pick up the grass, uh, probably, I don't know if we need to bring it all to the sheep or not, but we'll at least bring one load, maybe two, <coughs> and the cows, probably should check on the cows, uh, mixed rations, they definitely are going to need some more mixed rations, pretty shortly here, that shouldn't be a problem, uh, when I started the game, I got a message saying the mixed rations mixing station is full, so we should have at least 100,000 mixed rations waiting for us. So we'll uh, do that a minute before we start mowing. Like I said, I intend to leave this little tractor down here. We'll probably use it for the uh, cows. And maybe the sheep as well. Okay, this thing's definitely a little bit slow on backing up. Also, if you remember from the last episode, I believe we only had forty thousand dollars. Now we're up to ninety-seven thousand. Actually, during the night we were up to almost a hundred and two thousand, I believe. I was over a hundred. I know that much. Uh, just from the cow milk, so must be getting about sixty thousand from the cows, which is pretty good. I don't know if it'll tell us or not. I can never figure out from this what. Uh, yeah, other. Negative 300. Doesn't help a whole lot. Okay, lots of good eating there, cows. Make sure you eat it all up. Yep. We need lots and lots of milk. I shut this off. Always, most of the fuel we burn in it will be just sitting there idling, doing nothing because I forgot to turn it off. And we should have a lot of grass here because I believe both fields are growing now, so we got the whole. Was this almost still half the map, probably? Yeah, not quite half the map, but we got a long piece of grass here we can mow. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like the fog is slowly lifting. 
I don't know, one of these manual ignition mods. But on the positive note, it has working mirrors, which are cool. But weren't cool, awesome. Gotta love the working mirrors. Although they're really not that useful on uh, this thing, I don't think. I'd much rather see them on my tractors or even my truck or something, that'd be cool. I know there's some mirror mods out there, but they're kind of yeah, messed up at the moment. These mirrors look like they're at least on the right side, so everything that's on my right side shows in my right hand mirror, left hand, you know, left hand side. That shouldn't take us too long to mow the grass here with this great big mower. And for those of you guys who may be wondering, yes, you can pull the uh, quantum wagon behind this mower. So if you're inclined to do so, you can uh, do that. Uh, I don't really care to do that. It uh, kind of diminishes the realism in my opinion, so... Yeah, plus I kind of figure, you know, what, what's the hurry? That's not a bad model, looks pretty good. Nice uh, detailed engine picture there, I guess. Looks a little weird in a few spots, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about that. Wow, this is longer than I remember it being. Now, if we wanted, we could probably actually set up course plate to do this as well. We just have to, you know, drive around the outside edge where we want uh, course plate to mow. Uh, figure out whatever the width of this is. I'm not actually sure. I don't think it's said. That's a good question. I don't think it's said. Wouldn't uh, take a whole lot to figure it out, though. Obviously, you know, if it's missed a little bit, we just gotta make it a little bit smaller. If it's overlapping too much, we make it a little bit wider. But then, yeah, once we uh, determine the width, then we can also use course play to uh, pick up the grass as well. That's yeah, something we could definitely look into in the future, maybe. Won't uh, bother doing it this time, of course, but... And basically, if you wanted, you could basically have course play do everything on their farm. Pretty much just automate everything. Not sure if there's anything you really couldn't automate. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything anyway. Now, obviously, there's a few limitations and a few things might look a little derpy, but uh, you know what? This game does look a little derpy at times, so.
Okay, I'm going to be curious to see how much grass we get off this. This is going to be, uh... We'll probably fill it up just one pass, I bet. I have not uh, set a lot of number of sheep to buy. I'm thinking probably a hundred. My math is right. Should be 20,000, I believe. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. I'm going to actually uh, pick that up and just see what's how much we actually get off of that. Self turn off. Uh, same key as uh, yours is tractor, the enter key. You just gotta make sure you have the vehicle selected. Actually, uh, hide everything on the screen. Probably not a good thing, because I actually can't see how much I uh, have in it now. Money, uh, all the money we have, we're probably gonna need a little more. <coughs> Hopefully, we can get into uh, potatoes. So, that's gonna require a planter and a harvester. Our sugar beets are a little easier because we can use, you know, the corn planter does corn and sugar beets. But uh, potatoes, we do need a Pacific planter for, so. And then that horrible one roll potato harvester. I can guarantee I will be using or trying to use course play for it. I don't look like we're running quite full. We're gonna make it pretty close to being full though at the end of this row. It's definitely a lot more grass. Double check. As far as I know, the only thing we need for cheap is the grass. Unless it uh, changed with this map, you never know. Let's see, we don't have nothing in storage. Uh, yeah, nothing there. That's interesting. So, uh, thrust area total, we've uh, 112 hectares. We've sown 136 hectares. We've driven. Dr uh, dr Driving distance, oh, driving distance, 691 miles. Oh, wow, we consumed 2,969 liters of fuel. And we got 52 hours in the game. That's yeah, not bad. 
Actually, I want that three in the back. Uh, cows, nope, sheep. Feeding trough. That's all it says, feeding trough. Uh, chickens, yeah, no chickens. Yeah, if somebody wants to see them, let me know, maybe we can do them, but... Nothing, uh, really excites me about chickens, you know, I mean, I don't have to bring them. Nothing. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know, if you had a trough out there, you maybe throw some corn in it or something. Or... I know a lot of mod maps do that, you know, corn and water. That's, uh, pretty common. Uh, same thing with sheep, uh, grass, water. A lot of them even mix rations sometimes. Uh, cows, I think, are the same on most maps. Though some of them have corn, I have seen that. So, you know, your mixed rats, mixed ration, silage, corn, grass, straw. And he's in traffic cows. Give him and see if he clears himself up. Uh, I've seen straw for sheep as well. That's somewhat common. bit of a drive here for the sheep. May have to look in the future, see if we can purchase a field that's uh, close to the sheep. Maybe that one that's back behind there. Behind the mountains there. I'm not sure how big that is. Can't see the whole field on the PDA here, so... At least maybe we can borrow a section of it or something. Definitely don't need that big of a field for the grass for the sheep. Possibly we can even steal a uh, part of this field here. Straighten it out up there. Yeah, it's all down the road. We'll uh, have to see once. Looks like we've got a fair whack of that uh, field harvested already. Okay, and before we fill it up, let's buy some sheep so we can actually can fill it up. Otherwise, it's not going to take a whole lot. Sheep. And, yeah, we'll go for 100, I guess. If my math is right, that should be 20,000. Rapid clicking here. Five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, one hundred, and one hundred one. And now that we got sheep, I'm not gonna be too happy if they don't have anything to eat. So let's make sure they have something to eat here. I'm assuming that little pad there is where the wool will go when we, uh, when the sheep start producing it. We may just have to look at another front and loaded tractor for down here. Are you that? That Weidman. Really, that's all they take? Wow. That's not a whole lot of grass. Ah, oh, we might not have to mow anymore then. Okay. Because I don't think the sheep are in that dire need of it. Unless our mixing station is finally emptied out a little bit. Still in traffic. That's weird. I'll just uh, see if we can pull that out of the way here.
wonder if that's the first time he's gone to unload or something, because... Hmm. Right, I bet you we're going to have trouble with that viewer there, too. If he passes too close to that, he might, uh... Think he's in traffic. Just uh, watch him here a minute, make sure he goes through that okay. Okay. Doesn't look like he cares about the Bureau. That's good. Let's go back to doing what we were doing. And yeah, with the money we make off the canola here, once we start selling it anyway, we'll have to look into hopefully put potatoes for the next harvest, at least on the small field for starters. I uh, probably never will do the bigger fields, because even, you know, that's just a one row potato harvester. I hate to think how long that'd take, even with horseplay doing it. So it'll probably just be the little field. And then, yeah, hopefully maybe another cultivator. Nice to get another one of those. And definitely a bigger corn planter as well. Kind of got one in mind. And possibly another cedar. Don't really have one of those in mind, so not sure quite what I want to get. Quite one. Yeah. Not quite sure what I want to get there. I can talk in way. Yeah, probably not. We got it in real time, so they're not uh, not gonna be doing a whole lot here for probably a while. Uh, hey, twenty-eight thousand. Okay, so we put a little bit in. Actually, probably this entire low. That's gonna be about it, though. Set feet trough twelve thousand. Surprised that's all that hold. I thought it, thought it would uh, hold quite a bit more than that. And that should put this thing just about full. Yeah, just about. Not quite, but uh, pretty close. So we need to uh, throw in a couple scoops of silage here. drive uh, loader. Actually, maybe if I lift it up, it might help. Okay, there we go. Just dragging the buck knife around, that was all. It holds 5,000, so not a, not a bad size. At some point, we'll definitely be getting a bigger one, hopefully. Kind of partial to the one that holds 50,000. Now you know one scoop, boom. That's all it takes. I 
one thing that would be nice if they uh, make this easier to load, because I've lost, you know, stuff loading this thing before. And maybe make it a larger area to dump into or something. It's not so bad, you know, with the loading wagon there. But yeah, when you're doing a front end loader, it's really easy to just dump it out. You have to completely lose it. And looking back, it probably wasn't the greatest location for this uh, thing. That hill there is kind of annoying. Watch, I'm not sure if there's a, really a flatter spot around here I can put it. So like I said, I really don't want to put it out front in case I get in the way of the milk truck and all that good stuff, so... Now one way you know you're actually getting it in there is you see those uh, rollers turning. If you see that, that's a good sign. Well, everyone, I think we'll uh, call it an episode here. We are working on getting our canola harvested. Uh, we'll come back next episode and hopefully, well, we probably won't finish all the fields, but we'll at least uh, keep working on them anyway. Uh, we got our sheep uh, settled, them some grass, and we got a hundred of them. Cows are doing good, so, and we got ourselves a case Magnum 340 tractor with duels, front and back, of course. So yeah, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.